Good morning and welcome to KLX 620. My name is DJ Canadian. I'm your host for today's show. It's a little bit chilly out there, so congratulations for staying alive. And speaking of success, the U.S. military said Friday that an ISIS chemical weapons expert was killed during a coalition strike late last week, as CNN reports. And there's little doubt, though, that ISIS remains a very real force and a threat in much of Iraq. The group, which calls itself the Islamic State, still controls a vast swath of the Middle Eastern nation in this neighboring in neighboring Syria. BBC also backs up this report. BBC also reports that Liberia has de delayed planning reopen of schools, saying that they are not yet fully prepared to prevent the spread of Ebola. They are lacking chlor they are lacking chlorinated water for hand washing and thermometers to check pupils don't have fever. And Liberia has been the hardest hit by the outbreak of the deadly virus. In Liberia alone, more than 3,600 people have been killed. However, Liberia appears to be beating Ebola as there are now only five confirmed cases across the country. And moving on into some ancient news, CNN reports that paleontologists have discovered a 50-foot dragon dinosaur species in China that may have roamed the Earth 106, 160 million years ago during the late Jurassic period. These findings, published in the Journal of Vertebrae Paleontology, show that the new species belongs to a group of dinosaurs known for their extremely long necks, which would measure up to half their body length. And speaking of things we thought were extinct, CNN reports that last Wednesday the number of measles cases was 59. Nine days later, there were 91 cases of measles in California. Most cases are linked to an outbreak at Disneyland in mid-December. Apparently, this is not where all wishes come true, as measles is, a, is spread through the air, and measles starts with a fever, runny nose, cough, red eyes, and sore throat. On the other side of the coast, the Huffington Post talked about how the New York Police Department is developing a new anti-terrorism unit that would be deployed in part to contend with protesters. The New York PD plans for the group to be outfitted with the extra heavy protective gear with the long rifles and the machine guns that are unfortunately sometimes necessary in these instances, the police commissioner reported to the New York Post. And civil rights activists were outraged by Brandon lumping in these kinds of demonstrations with terrorist attacks. And the New York PD plans for the unit to be up and running by, sub by summer. And in politics, political reports that President Barack Obama, Vice President Joe Biden, and top administration officials are making the sales pitch to congressional Democrats for fast-track authority on trade deals. Obama pledged to work with House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi so that members have better access to the substance of agreements. While politicians are duking it out on Capitol Hill, Kentucky schools have agreed on dropping or raising the dropout age from 16 to 18, as Kentucky.com reports. And the raise in dropout age isn't the only new thing in Kentucky, as Kentucky.com also states that after a debate of more than an hour, Lexington's Board of Adjustment voted 6 to 1 Friday to allow an Islamic community center on Armstrong Mill Road. The designs for the project call for the building to be built near the front of the property. Nearly two-thirds of the property would remain green space. And in Kentucky politics, a direct mail piece that Mitch McConnell's campaign sent to eastern Kentuckians in the closing days of last year's Senate race, prompting a lawsuit from Democratic opponent Allison Lundergan Grimes, won several campaign awards last week. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. Fancy Feast is introducing new flavors of cat food, such as moose, beaver, squirrel, and dog. Fancy Feast, the cat food that makes even grumpy cats say, I'm a cat, Fancy Feast. Welcome back to KLX 620. With weather today, please be careful while out on the road since we have snow showers and flurries headed our way tonight, with temperatures being in the 20s. In sports news, NBC reports that the NHL won't be advertising on its jerseys anytime soon. The commissioner of the NHL says that you'd probably have to drag him out kicking and screaming before any change happens. And CNN reports that astronomers have discovered a new super Saturn. The planet, if it were in our solar system, would dominate Earth's nightly sky. Now, once again, my name is DJ Canadia. Thanks for tuning in to KLX 620, and that's the way the cookie crumbles.